So manufacturers are getting super niche with their crossovers lately, right? They're splitting models by mere inches, no, by mere millimeters. And now Mazda is getting into the game with the new CX-30 here at the Geneva Motor Show. This is slated to slot in between the CX-3 and the CX-5. So why is it called the CX-30? I know, right? Well, Mazda kind of surprised us all with this new naming language, so we're gonna have to wait to see where that goes. Regardless, when compared to the CX-3, the CX-30 is about the same height, but it's a little bit wider and a little bit longer overall. Although the wheelbase is actually closer to the CX-5 than it is to the CX-3. Plus, you've got a whole bunch of cladding on the CX-30 that's not present in either one of those other crossovers. We don't have any word on what engines are going to come to America, but here in Europe, they'll get a 2-liter gas engine as well as a 1.8-liter diesel engine, and those can be mated to either a 6-speed automatic or manual transmission. So yeah, a diesel and a manual? Come on, we're not getting that in America. Tech-wise, we're looking at an 8.8-inch screen that is mounted to the dash running Mazda's infotainment system, and there's even a traffic jam assist that can control your brake, throttle, and steering for those low-speed, high-stress situations. We've got no word on when the Mazda CX-30 will make it to America or how much it will cost, but this we do know. Roadshow has always loved Mazdas for making fun-to-drive cars at a really good price point, and this one should not disappoint.